MakeTheMoney.com. That's 19MakeTheMoney.com. 19MakeTheMoney.com. As oil companies desperately look for new supplies of crude, some, including Shell, have decided it's now time to put their money into Tanzania. At the same time, the African country's leader is making a huge push to present his nation as a great investment opportunity. Later today, the Tanzanian president will be honored at a luncheon of 100 top business people interested in investment opportunities there, and that'll be at the NASDAQ. But can he guarantee stability and financial payoff? Let's welcome His Excellency Jakaya Marisho Kikweti. He's president of the United Republic of Tanzania, live from the NASDAQ. Thank you for joining us, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Why have you come to the NASDAQ and what are you trying to accomplish? Well, I've come to the NASDAQ to, to, to attract investments to Tanzania. Investments uh, in the mining sector, investments in the oil, in oil exploration, investments in all other other important economic and trading activities that businessmen can have interest in Tanzania. Your country is rich, as you mentioned, in industrial minerals, gemstones, and now the oil companies seem to believe something they want lies deep beneath the ground there. Which big companies are coming in, and what kind of indication is there that oil and gas exploration will pay off for them? Well, of course, there are a number of big companies. Shell being one of them, they have um, been allocated for four blocks to, uh, to do exploration in deep sea. There are also other companies from Canada, from Britain, from uh, Brazil, and from Australia that are also busy doing exploration in the country. And also, I guess you just struck a deal with Dominion. What are they paying and what are they interested in in the region? Well, the... The, the, the interest is really is, is exploration for, for oil and, and gas. And uh, so far we have been successful. We have uh, made two major gas finds in two, in two areas. One is already being exploited. The other one is in the process of being exploited. Uh, but there is also a continuing activity of exploration onshore in the lower, uh, of course, offshore in the lower waters and also offshore in the deeper waters. Okay, so there's some proven reserves. You know, all we have seen lately in the news are rebel attacks on oil operations in Nigeria. Latin American governments are seizing private oil operations in their countries. Mm. How can you, can you guarantee that your nation won't turn on these companies that are making such investments? No, we guarantee them uh, security. Uh, we don't have the problems that the others are facing. Uh, because in some of these countries, essentially, the issue is political, but we don't have the, the political problems that would, would induce uh, insecurity to the extent that of oil companies being feeling threatened. We know that representatives from J.P. Morgan Chase, Citigroup, HSBC, Aon, even, even Starwood Hotels we hear will be at the luncheon to meet with you and investigate investment opportunities. What can you offer them beyond things like energy and oil? Yeah, beyond energy and oil, of course, we... We have uh, a lot of minerals. Gold in gold mineralization, we are third after South Africa and Ghana in, Africa, in the African continent. And I think right now there is production going on, and our annual production is is, is 50 kilograms, 50 tons, which I think the the opportunity, the possibilities are there of going further upwards. There are also opportunities in in the tourist sector where people can. Uh, invest in the hospitality industry. There are also opportunities in manufacturing, in agriculture, and in the transportation and communications. There is, a, there is a host of opportunities there. Well, your nation has just endured a severe drought, and hunger in some of the region is a problem big enough that the United Nations is now getting involved. Where are all the customers with disposable income going to come from for these companies who dream of making money in Tanzania? Well, of course, uh, there, is a, the, the, there is a growing middle class, but also Tanzania is, is a member of two important regional, re, regional groupings. The East African community with Kenya and Uganda, and soon uh, Rwanda and Burundi are going to join. But also we are part of the Southern Africa Development Community, which is, uh, has uh, about 16 country membership with South Africa, there is Botswana, there is Namibia. Mm -hmm. 
There is Madagascar, there is Mauritius, there is Zambia, uh, there is Zimbabwe, there is Lesotho, there is Swaziland, Angola, the DRC. So we have so many of these. So there is a large market. When you invest in Tanzania, you have access to this huge market. Well, welcome to New York and to America, and we appreciate you coming on Morning Call with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. The Excellency President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Jakaya Marisho Kikwete. Mark? Boy, that's a mouthful. Okay. And Bob O'Brien will have more on stocks to watch this morning, so don't go away. And now online, the long-term boom in commodities still burning, according to columnist Jim Jubeck. He recommends commodity stocks, not the stuff itself. All that plus news and portfolio tools, CNBC.com and MSN. Morning Call, right back. You're watching Morning Call on the world leader in business news, CNBC. This CNBC program is sponsored in part by Blue Star Jet.